All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the Fantastic Car Multi Tool. I got this before I left on vacation, and now that I'm back, I figure we go ahead and take a look at it. I've gotten a chance to play with it for about 24 hours, which for me is a lot because I tend to tinker with things quite a bit. Some cool stuff I've discovered, and just general sense of whether it's worth it or not worth it. Short answer, if you don't want to watch this whole video, is yeah. For $20, this, this tool is really, really good. So stay tuned, and we'll talk more in depth. All right, so here it is. This is the Fantastic Car Multi-Tool. So let's get some specs and sizes out of the way. So this is a standard Leatherman Wave. Okay, it's not standard. I've modified it, but you get the idea. Standard size. And you can see it's actually about the same thickness, even though it only has one layer of outer tools. Um, and it's certainly a little longer. In weight, they're actually very similar. So this is actually about 8.5 ounces, and this is about 8.6 ounces. So if, if you had the money, I certainly would always recommend the Wave over this tool. You're gonna get much more functionality, much more use out of it. But for $20, if, you, you're, if you're determined to be budget oriented, this is not a bad call. And I'll explain why in just a second. So let's put that away and take a look at this. So first of all, we have a really nice sheep's foot design blade. And I wish that they would skip using serrated and then plain edge blades on multi-tools and just do one blade that is exactly like this. Even better, you know, it's very easy to open. It has a great lockup. And it has a ball detent, all of which is kind of surprising for this price point. In fact, every tool on this is locking. It also has a pocket clip, something that we didn't see in the other varieties of inexpensive multi-tools very often. Uh, so, color. Oh, God. This is the worst color ever. But of the three colors, it's the best one. It, they had this color, which is a, they're calling mint green. Um, they have a pink, which I'm calling like, uh, like faux Italian ice. And then they have some random purple that is like really disturbing. But anyway, so here's the unboxing experience. And if you can get past the, uh, the, uh, your lunch coming up to the top of your throat, you know, it'll pass because, uh, yeah, the tool is decent. But you're going to have to get past this. All right. So there, there's the unboxing experience. Waza, So great. But anyway, so that's what you get. You get, you get a box. You get a little packet underneath that looks like this. It says, warning. To risk of injury, take the following precautions. Don't be an idiot. Oh, okay, good. All right. So there's that. Now let's look at the actual tool set, shall we? Starting with the blade. Let me go get a piece of paper. I did not touch this up in any way. I didn't shop it. Nothing like that. Not bad. Not bad. Let's, since we have two, let's go ahead and pull this other one out. Let's take a look at it, shall we? This one's actually, if it's possible, it's a little bit better. So, good enough. Not bad. I've had a lot more expensive knives come out of the box much duller than that. The next thing I want to move on to is the scissor. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Now, we just I just did a review of an inexpensive Chinese-based multi-tool that has an identical scissor to this one, and you know how I felt about that. I was very, very impressed. And I'm expecting the exact same results here. Boom. I don't bother with a lot of the other materials, simply because paracord kind of perfectly simulates all the complex annoyances that you get from using a scissor. And this... This one it may even be better than that because it seems like it's basically cutting equal everywhere I go. I'm putting a little bit of lateral pressure to keep the two blades together, and it works great. So there you go. So that's that one. And let's see if the scissor on this one is any different. Nope. Good. All right, so all those are great. Those were the two tools that I liked the best on the other multi-tool that we reviewed. I can't remember the name of it right now. On the inside, we have the exact tool set that we saw on that other tool. We have spring-loaded pliers with replaceable wire cutters. You can actually buy these wire cutters from Roxon. 
um, they they come and they, you can buy them separately. They're not the best replaceable cutters, but they are in fact replaceable. You can find them and you can replace them. This is the same plier head that you get in the ATEC. I just remember the name, the ATEC multi-tool. And so they will be interchangeable. I've actually, actually really liked this plier head, surprisingly. It has a very nice section for nuts as well as having actual decent texturing. And it comes together perfectly. It doesn't seem to have any movement, which is also good. Now, on the inside, we have Phillips and all. Now, this particular one, I noticed when I opened it, had an issue with the Phillips specifically. All the others lock well. Okay, not this one. The other one, the Phillips, you can see here, locks well. But if we open up the other one, you can see this one collapses. It has a little bit of a catch up, but it is not quite fully locking. So keep that in mind. If you have that, you know, that one's a dud. It's not supposed to be like that. And uh, so far from two out of two, half of them had that problem. That was the only problem I found with that tick with the tool that was out of the ordinary. And then of course, on the other side, we have the cutter, the uh, pull cutter, the line cutter, if you will, two flat heads, can opener, bottle opener, and so on. This is pretty standard. But what I really like about this one is it actually has a relatively sharp tip. And because it has a sharp tip, you'll be able to take a box and actually cut that box open. Like those, those sealed packages. I really like being able to pull cut with, with something like this. And I probably would just leave it exactly like that. And I just, I would hold it and just pull it. That way I don't have to deal with this other arm being on the opposite side. All of those lock up perfectly fine. And of course we have a pocket clip. So at 8.5 ounces, it's just on the edge of carryability as far as I'm concerned with EDC. I think you can, some people will carry an EDC, a surge with a pocket clip at 12 ounces, but those people are fewer, and fewer in quantity. And I'm one of those people that will do it, but I actually do appreciate something that is on the smaller or lighter side. Now in the dimensionally speaking, it's not very small, but from weight, it is actually quite nice. So 8.6 ounces, 8.5 ounces, that's all, that's all very, uh, very comparable to a will of wave. But $21 right now, pretty awesome. Everything cuts well and so on. I really wish they had just gone with black, you know, plastic. Why did they have to? And you know, like, here's what's crazy to me. This box, this, they paid extra money. They paid extra money to get this absolute atrocity of a box. Like, why? Anyway, it's just, it's silly to me, but uh, here we are. So $20 for a decent multi-tool that you can throw in a bag or carry in your pocket that actually has a pocket clip. And I will say this, the ergonomics are actually surprisingly good on this multi-tool, really very comfortable. So I do really like that. I mean, that is quite nice. Fits in my hand, nice long blade, really, really good. So. This is the Fantastic Car multi-tool. It is basically um, a plasticized version of a Splitman's multi-tool. There's another variant that you can only, so far that I found, only find on things like Alibaba and so on. But this one is available in the US uh, through Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. Pretty awesome. And I think what I will do is in a separate video, down the line, I will actually give this away once I can figure out how to fix that Phillips. But you guys have a great day. I hope this was helpful for you. Whether you wanted to spend $20 of your hard earned money on a multi tool, this is not a bad option. Of all the ones I've seen so far, it's one of my favorites in that it doesn't have any tools that don't function properly. The Phillips we saw was an issue, but may not be in the one you get. If it does, just send it back. Easy peasy. Anyway, that's it. Have a good one, guys. And we'll talk again soon.